Ah, I could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the Statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings, hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay a tribute. The Atera keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was, by my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you, so I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here. Exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location, please return. Itor. 
Ah, my friend. I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. So you'd like me to free him? Sadly, I'm no longer able to do these things myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp just north of here. Why are you so worried about the mercenary? He's a friend. Didn't I do the same for you? Remember that trouble you and Marcos got into? Yes, yes, you're right. If we're not going to look out for each other, who will? Time to go get your friend. There he is. <laughs> there will be trouble if I'm out. spotted here.
you are. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You deceived me! You asked me to rescue him just so you could kill him. I didn't lie. Just omitted some details, that's all. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? You're both at fault in her death. And Itor, I don't know, and I don't want to know, why you were sleeping with another man's wife. We were in love. You idiot. Do you think you were the only one? When we went on our campaigns, do you think she worried about her husband? About as much as we worried about our wives. No, she loved me. She told me so. We were going to run away together. <laughs> She'd leave her home for you? With nothing? I heard you had to sell your sword. The only thing you ever owned of value. Why would she go with a lolly Mistios? Ugh, Malakas need to sort this out between yourselves. Yes, something to hurt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burn the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, God. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back. He is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Alexios. Welcome, Alexios. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? Nothing to say? Others would do well to realize silence is as much of an answer as anything else. A crowd will seize the very first easy answer that comes its way, like a hungry dog on a bone. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Alexios you'd invite him to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If he's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see him as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Alexios, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Erotodos said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediohos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. 
Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your uh, influence. Meteoros, you said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias, the famous sculptor? What did he do exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Chere friend, I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? He was elected. Athens is the seat of democracy. Oh, it is. It's just that the wrong man is sitting in that seat. Did you actually need something? Or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful Why we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me! The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me, this is a huge opportunity for you.
Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Try to stay out of sight. On the part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. that were meant to kill Meteochos. Hmm, snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of Meteochos' attackers. But the letter proves there are just tools in someone else's plan. Who's? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. 
Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. Uh, I need to rid uh, Athens of the snake seller. <laughs> I'll end you, Mystios. You'll feel the sting of my venom. You can't stop me. His death should keep friends of Pericles safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mystios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. 